Good morning children. Today we are going to start our next lesson that is noun and its kinds. Firstly we will revise what is a noun. Noun is a naming word. It names a person, place, animal or thing. It may be expressed in singular, one in number or plural, more than one in number form. Now we will start with it kinds now what are the kinds of noun kinds of nouns are described in two categories first is concrete nouns and second one is abstract nouns which comes under the concrete nouns first is proper nouns second is common nouns third is collective nouns fourth is material nouns and what comes under the abstract nouns abstract nouns come under itself. Now we will see some examples of the proper nouns. Those are Rajappa, John, Manglo, Delhi, Naroda, TV, Deepu, Guru, Shashikala. Now which are the examples for the common noun student? That is the student, teacher, river, chair, road, city. Now third kind under the concrete noun is collective nouns and which are the example for those? Family, army, staff, crowd, flock. Yeah and the last is the material nouns which comes under the concrete nouns. Examples are gold, silver, clay, wood, iron, wool. We are going to see in details what is exactly concrete nouns and what is abstract noun and what is proper noun, what is exactly common noun, what is the difference between the all these kinds that we are going to see further. Now first we are going to discuss about common noun. What is common noun? A common noun is a name for something which is common for many things, person or places. It encompasses a particular type of things, person or places. Suppose if I will say in the class, stand up girls, then who will stand? All girls. Boys, nobody will stand because I said for the girls, not for the one girl, for the all girls. And that all girls comes under the one category that is the common noun. Boy, that boy also comes under the common noun. Now, if I will say to you, call to any teacher, then which teacher that either you don't have, then you can call any teacher, which name you don't know. That teacher also comes under common noun. For example, few examples are given down. Country, it can refer to any country, nothing in particular. In which country will you? India. But when I say only country, there are many countries. That's why country comes under common noun. City. It can refer to any city like Melbourne, Mumbai, Toronto, etc. But nothing in a particular. If I am saying only city, under city many cities comes. That's why city word also comes under common noun. Now we are going to see some examples of this. Common noun is a common name used for a person like girl, for a place like city or a thing like toy. Now next we are going to discuss about proper noun. What is a proper noun? A proper noun is a name which refers only to a single person, place or thing and there is no common name for it. In written English, a proper noun always begins with capital letters. Students, your own name, it also comes under proper noun. And whenever you are writing your own name, that name's first letter, you always write in capital. After your name, you write your father name. And that father name's first letter also, you write in capital letter. And lastly, you write, write surname. That surname's first letter also we write in capital letter. It means proper nouns first letter we write in capital. 
For example, Melbourne. Melbourne is a city and Melbourne's first alphabet is Yum, which is written in capital. It refers to only one particular city. Steve. Steve is the name of a person, a particular person. That's why Steve's yes is capital. Refers to a particular person. Now we can take the example of our school. What is our school name? Orchid Techno School. Then Orchid's O capital. Techno T capital. And school yes capital. Why it is? Because Orchid Techno School is a proper noun. Very good. Now we will see few examples of proper nouns. A proper noun is a special name. That names a particular person, place or thing. Now here is a boy. But if we we'll say he is a boy, boy comes under the common noun. But now this boy is having one name. What is his name? Roy. And Roy's R has written in capital because it's a proper noun. Second is a place. What is that place name? Eden Town. Eden Town is a place which is very particular and one and its first letter E has written in capital letter because it's a proper noun. Third example is Sunset Palace. That palace name is a particular of that sunset. That's why sunset yes is a capital and palace P is also capital. We will see about more about the proper noun what is given down. A proper noun can be made up of more than one word. Means what? Roy. Roy was only one name. But when I given one example of Orchid Techno School, there are three words. And these all three words comes under the proper noun. It means proper noun can come more than one word. A proper noun always begins with a capital letter. Very good. Now, what is example? Hi, I am a boy. I am a common noun. Because this boy is not having any name. That's why boy comes under the common noun. But when we give one name to that boy. What is name? I am John. John is name of that boy. I am a proper noun. That's why John comes under the proper noun. And you can observe students. Boy which was the common that has written in the small letters B O Y. And when we are going to see John, John's J has written in the capital letter because it's a proper noun. Very good. Now, here are few examples about things. Common nouns. What is common noun? Book. And if I am going to say any particular book, means Max book, then Max books comes under the proper nouns. Here again, you can see that when we wrote book, that time B is a in a small letter. But when we write it as a proper noun, that time Max M is a capital, books B is a capital because it is a proper noun. Second is planet. There are many planets in solar system. That's why planets P is a common noun and it's in a small letter. But when we take one particular planet like earth where we live, that earth comes under the proper noun and earth E we write into the capital letter. That's why don't forget students, whenever we write proper noun, its first letter always you have to write in a capital. Very good. Now we are going to move for our third kind of noun that is the collective noun. A collective noun is a word for a group of things, people or animals etc. Like examples family, team, jury, cattle etc. Now in this word only its meaning is mentioned. Collective. Collective means what? When we take it together then it can be things, it can be people, it can be animal. But these things when it comes together, it makes one group. And that group is only called collective noun. Now we will see few examples about collective nouns. When many kings come together, it has called dynasty. A dynasty of kings. When many natives come together, that time it has called 
a tribe of natives when many lecturers comes together it has called a draft of lecturers when many thieves comes together that time we say a pack of thieves when many tourists come together it comes a flock of tourists when many workers come together it is become team and a team of workers when many singers come together that time we say a choir of singers and many girls comes together that time a giggle of girls many students comes together means a class of students many friends comes together that time it is a circle of friends many penguins clusters were on the one place that time it has called a colony of penguins many lions comes together it means a pride of lions many fish comes together that time it is a catch of fish many sheep comes together it means it is a flock of sheep many wild animals comes together it means a zoo of wild animals there are collective nouns which are dynasty tribe draft pack flock team choir giggle class circle colony pride catch flock zoo this all comes under the collective nouns there are more examples which you are going to read a gaggle of geese a swarm of bees an army of ants a cloud of cats a parade of elephants a bunch of flowers a forest of trees a galaxy of stars a comb of bananas a bouquet of flowers a jar of honey a can of soda a pack of cards a cup of tea a set of books means gaggle swarm army cloud parade bunch forest galaxy com bouquet jar can pack cup set these all are the examples of collective nouns very good now we will move for our next kind of noun that is material noun material nouns are names of materials which things are made of for examples wood iron plastic cement these are the materials which we are using to make different things like by using wood what we can make furniture by using iron what we can make rods by using plastic what we can make bucket many things by using cement what we are making yeah building house these all things we use to make something other thing that means these all comes under the material noun for example few examples are there rice sugar water milk these are also comes under the material noun a material noun is a name of a substance as a whole now we will see the concrete noun if you remember that we have started our lesson in the two categories that is the concrete noun and the abstract noun and i said that under concrete noun which nouns comes common noun collective noun proper noun and the material noun all these four kinds comes under the concrete noun why it is called as a concrete noun because concrete nouns are nouns that refer to an actual person place or thing that you can see smell taste touch or hear for example cat we can see the cat store we can see it bus bus also we can see beach we can see it dish also we can see it think about concrete it is something hard that you actually see and touch just like concrete nouns there are few examples we are going to see about the concrete nouns concrete nouns nouns which you can taste touch see hear and smell for example cup cake ball chair keys and if you observe that cup comes under the common noun cake also comes under the common noun 
Ball also comes under the common noun. Chair also comes under the common noun. And keys also comes under the common noun. And these common nouns comes under the concrete nouns. Proper nouns also comes under the concrete nouns. Abstract nouns comes differently. But these remaining fours comes under the concrete nouns. Now what is abstract noun which is different from the concrete? What is it? An abstract noun is a word for something that cannot be seen. But it's there. It has no physical existence. Generally, it refers to ideas, qualities and conditions. For example, truth, lies, happiness, sorrow, time, friendship, humor, patriotism, etc. We will discuss more about abstract noun. Abstract nouns, those which you can not, not, you have to remember, you can not. You cannot hear, you cannot smell, you cannot taste, you cannot feel, you cannot see. But you can experience like excitement. It's your feeling. You are excited, but can I touch it? Your excitement, I can't touch it, but I can feel it. That feeling words comes under the abstract noun. Jealousy. Yeah, we are jealous for our brother, for our friend. That jealousy, can I touch your jealousy? No, that jealousy feeling I can see on your face by your anger. But that jealousy I can't touch. That's why I can't touch. That's why these jealousy words comes under abstract nouns. Sickness. You say that many times. Ma'am, I was not feeling well. That's why I didn't come to school. Then can I see your sickness? No, I can feel that. By your face expression, by your body expressions, I can understand you are not feeling well. But I can't touch your sickness. That's why it comes under the abstract noun. Curiosity. What is curiosity? Curiosity means to things to know more about it. Means you want to know many things. Yeah, Which answers you don't know. That curiosity is we can feel but we can't touch. Next is pleasure. I feel pleasure to do your work. Means it's happiness. But that happiness you can show. But that you can't touch. Yeah. That's why it is comes under abstract noun. Anger. Anger comes on your face. Yeah. When your teachers are not listening to you. They are giving homeworks. Lots of. Sometimes you feel angry. But it is better for you. No? Whenever you are getting homework. It means it's revision. And whenever we do more revision. That time we will be expert in our study and you will get nice marks also. But sometimes we feel very sad. We feel so angry. That angry, can I touch your anger? Can I smell your anger? Can I hear your anger? Can I see it? No, it is only feeling and that feelings I can't touch. That's why it comes under abstract nouns. Very good. An abstract noun is a thing that you cannot see, touch or place in a box. Love. Can you put love into one box? Or that is into one can? No, it is only feeling. Friendship. You have best friends. Yeah. But that friendship which you are doing with your friend. That friendship we can feel. We can't keep it in one box. Happiness. Peace, responsibility, fear, these all are the feelings which we can't see, we can't touch, we can't listen, we can't feel. That's why it comes under the abstract nouns. Now there is the difference between the concrete noun and abstract noun. Why have you given the difference? Because under concrete nouns, before also I said, what comes? Common noun, collective noun, proper noun and material noun that's why it has called as a concrete nouns and abstract noun it comes separately a concrete noun is a noun you can experience or detect with your five senses which are those five senses yeah taste see hear smell touch miss your tongue eyes ears nose and skin very good then what we can feel by that flavor Food, sweetness, strawberry, salt, that all we can see, we can touch. Then cloud, smile, rainbow, sunset, sun, this comes under the concrete noun. Noise, beep, honk, quack, thunder, this also comes under concrete nouns. Cookies, incense, smoke, perfume, flowers, this also comes under concrete noun. 
pencil, book, sand, softness, lotion. These also comes under concrete nouns. And what is abstract nouns? An abstract noun is a something you cannot detect with your five senses. Abstract nouns are intangible things like feelings, ideas and qualities. Feelings, love, hate, anger, pride, sympathy, amazement, fascination, happiness. Ideas, belief, dream, knowledge, culture, faith, imagination, opinion, memory. And qualities, bravery, fear, determination, hope, loyalty, enthusiasm, integrity, curiosity. These are the difference between concrete nouns and the abstract noun. Again, we will see a few examples of abstract noun and concrete noun. Few examples of abstract noun. Trust, love, knowledge. Abstract nouns are words that refer to entities that we cannot feel with our five senses. And concrete nouns, book, tree, car. Concrete nouns, on the other hand, can be detected and failed with our five senses. Now, these five kinds we have seen about the kinds of nouns. There are sub-kinds which comes under the countable and uncountable nouns. Countables means which comes into the singular and the plural forms. Yeah. Suppose I say one example, boy. What is the plural form of boy? Boys. Very good. What is the, what is the plural form of child? Children. Very good. What is the plural form of mouse? Mice. Very good. What is the plural form of ox? Oxen. Very good. Means these all singular and plural forms comes under the countable nouns. And what is uncountable noun? Uncountable noun means which we can't make singular and the plural. Yeah, we will see the definitions. Countable nouns have a singular and plural form can use a singular verb or plural verb. For example, we can count a tree, two trees. The book is old. The books are old. Means one book is and many books are. Now, what is uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns have only one form. No plural. Always use a singular verb. Cannot use a and or a number before them. We cannot count butter. We can't make butter butters. Sugar is sweet. We can't make sugars are sweet. It is sugar only. We can't make rices. Rice is at, as it is rice. Rice, we can't write as a two rice. A bread, no. Bread will come only as a bread. We can't make it as a, a bread, otherwise two bread. It will be write as a bread. There are many examples which comes under the countable and uncountable noun. But which five kinds we have seen of the kinds of noun. This comes under the countable category and the uncountable category which are comes under the countable common and collective nouns are countable nouns while proper abstract and material nouns are uncountable nouns common nouns and collective nouns we will see few examples which comes under the countable one man five men one class two classes one country many countries one team two teams this comes under the common noun and the collective noun. And these are the countable. Means we can write as a singular as well as plural. Now what are the examples of uncountable? It comes under the proper noun, abstract noun and the material noun. For example, India. Can we make it India's? No. We can't make it plural. Asia. Happiness. Happiness is a abstract noun. Can we make happiness into the plural? Happiness is no, it will be wrong. Abstract noun can't come as a plural. Anger. We, can we write angers? No, it will be totally wrong. We write as it is anger. That's why anger is a uncountable noun. Sugar. Can we make it sugars? No, we write only sugar. Rice. This all comes under the uncountable noun. I am going to repeat it again. Under countable, common noun and collective nouns comes. And under uncountable, proper noun, abstract noun and the material nouns comes. Now see the few examples of the countables. Burgers. Yeah, if one burger is there, 
it's burger but if we make it plural then burgers sandwiches hot dogs cherries apple grapes oranges olivia watermelons carrots tomatoes peas salads vegetables pancakes sauce gas eggs potatoes cookies fries candies these all words we can write singular as well as plural that's why this comes under the countables now what is uncountables which we can't make plural which will come that bread fruit juice meat rice cereal milk coffee tea soup salt flour sugar butter cheese honey water chocolate jam seafood mustard these all words we can't write into the form of plural and because of that these all examples comes under uncountable student now you understand what is countable countable means which we can count like a one two three into the singular and plural form and what is uncountable countable uncountable means which we can't count under the one two into the plural form get it now we are going to revise our today's lesson that is noun for kids yeah for you first is common noun common noun refers to the name common to all persons or things of the same kind for example boy girl city book etc proper noun proper noun refers to the name of a particular place person or thing and it is always one taj mahal there are many taj mahals no there is only one taj mahal that site comes under the proper noun and you can observe that taj mahal's t is capital m is capital because it's a proper noun gangs new delhi these all first letters are comes in the capital because those are proper nouns third is collective noun collective noun refers to the name of a group or collection of many taken together when many things comes together it comes the collection it comes under the collective noun crowd herd fleet these are the examples of collective noun abstract noun abstract noun refers to the name of a feeling state of mind or quality something which cannot but only failed example honesty bravery and last one is material noun these are the nouns that refer to the names of materials or substances out of which things are made example gold iron food etc now students you understood the all kinds which comes under the nouns now there is one work for you which i have given to you what is your start up what to start up sort the following nouns into categories by placing them in the table below yeah there are few examples you have to segregate those under the common noun proper noun collective noun and the abstract noun which are the questions example table herd teacher tribe love thought florida dog sadness hope monday bouquet these all examples you have to segregate under the common proper collective and the abstract what is the second question give your own examples of each of the types of nouns in the table below common proper collective and abstract you have to write your own examples and by using those examples you have to make sentences very good write a sentence with each of the four types of nouns below by using common noun you have to make sentence by taking proper noun you have to make one sentence by taking any abstract noun you have to make one sentence and by taking any collective noun you have to make one sentence i hope that you understood noun and its kind Thank you so much students